it's Bernie Dog here. For all you folks out there who want to work on stoves, I'm going to try to clear up some misconceptions about soldering versus brazing in this video. I'm going to talk about this sort of stove you see on your screen right now. This is an old Petromax uh, 100. But any kind of stove like this where there's a tank with the three legs, it's brass on the bottom, there's a burner up top, is going to apply to these rules I'm going to give you about soldering and brazing. Solder is an alloy of tin and lead. It melts at a very low temperature and is used to put these kinds of stoves together. So when you're doing repairs on a stove tank, you should only be using tin and lead solder. Soldering is a low temperature metal joining operation. It occurs below 400 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't need map gas. You don't need oxyacetylene. Silver abrasing is a high temperature metal joining operation. While you don't need map gas or oxyacetylene for this operation, you should have one or more large propane torches. Butane torches usually don't get hot enough to accomplish brazing. So let's look at the rules and understand when and where you use what on a stove like this one. For everything below this line, you want to solder. Everything above the line, the burner, etc., is done with brazing. To be successful with soldering, you want to use electronics style solder. Now, electronics solder is a eutectic, which means it melts directly into a liquid, and that point is 63% tin and 37% lead. It melts at only 361 degrees. Make sure you get a rosin flux core solder. Here are the don'ts. Never use acid flux. It will destroy your tank. Never use acid core solder. The acid in the core will destroy your tank. Don't use plumber's solder, which is not designed to use, be used on stoves. And never use what's called silver solder. Never use this stuff. Now for brazing, we want to always use a high quality silver brazing filler. Make sure it has 50% or more silver, and it has absolutely no tin in it. All products called silver solder that have tin in them are designed for low temperature soldering, not for silver brazing. Silver brazing is a high temperature operation. It's going to be going on at higher than 1200 degrees, and it never has tin in it. To make sure you get the right stuff, go to a welding supply shop, not a plumber's supply. All metal for silver brazing or for soldering needs to be absolutely spotlessly clean and made bright and shiny through the use of abrasives. To clean your metal, you can use wet dry paper, black carbide paper, 400 grit, then followed by 600 grit, and then polish it out when you're all done. And that'll get your metal clean. You can also use four aught steel wool, which again will have to be polished out after your job is done, but the metal must be clean for these things to stick. In the description box below this video, I will put full links on products that you can and should use to make your project successful. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Don't forget to link, like, and subscribe.